Hi, everybody. Today we're going to talk about the difference between Vea, Vein, and Vas. If you haven't seen my puppets explain this, go ahead and click on the button up there with the puppets. In the meantime, let's go ahead and get started. First off, the word Vea. Vea is the equivalent of the word who. So this is the question word that you would use for things like Vea istas, who is that? Or Vea bist du, who are you? Or Vea kauft das, who is buying that? These are all used only in the nominative case. You can only ask about the subject using vea. If you want to ask about the direct object, you would use vein, which in English is whom. And the reason a lot of people have a problem with the difference between vea and vein is because they don't understand the difference between who and whom in English. It's a lot easier if you try and think in terms of he versus him in English. Less people will actually get that wrong as opposed to the difference between who and whom. So if you change out who or whom with either he or him, you should be able to tell the difference. And notice that him ends in an im, and so now you would notice the difference between whom, which also ends in an im. Things like, who is that? Wer ist das? He is that. That sort of makes sense, but it's not as bad as him is that. See what I mean? It sounds goofy, and you can tell right away which one is right. For another example, wer kauft das? Who is buying that? If you change out the sentence from who is buying that to he is buying that, that makes sense. If you say him is buying that, you're probably three years old. So, whom, wen, is used with the accusative case. You can say things like, wen leads to ein, whom are you inviting? Or, wen fragst du, whom are you asking, wen fragst du? I am asking him, whom, him. And the last one is was, which is the easy one to understand, because it's what. And what, in English and in German, can be used in nominative or accusative. This could be used things like, was ist das? What is that? Or, was hast du? In the first example, it's nominative. In the second example, it's accusative. The first one, it's the subject. And in the second one, it's the direct object. In section two, we're just supposed to fill in the blank with either wer, wen, or was. Each one has an answer behind it so that we can discern which one we're supposed to use so that we don't get confused. The first one here says, blank antwortet die Frage. Larry antwortet die Frage. So we want to say here, blank answers the question. Larry answers the question. Larry is the subject of the next sentence, and he is also the subject of the previous sentence in the question, which means that we have to use here, wer. Larry is obviously a person, so we have to use a question word that goes with people, either who or whom, not what, because Larry would be very upset about that. Wer antwortet die Frage? Who is answering the question? Nummer zwei. Something hast du. This one says, something hate you. You says du, which means that it's the nominative case, which means du is the subject of the sentence. That means the other thing has to be a direct object. But the question is, is Lügner a person, or is it a thing? This one says, Ich hasse Lügner. I hate liars. Liars could be people, or it could be a thing. And so in this sentence, we could say, Was or wen? What do you hate, or whom do you hate? The second one is less ambiguous. This one still says the same sentence, Hast du? But the answer is, Ich hasse Schimpfwörter. I hate curse words. Curse words are obviously not people, and so we use here was. In Nummer 4, it says blank has du gern. Du is in the sentence, which means that it has to be the subject, because du is always the subject. If it's not, it changes to dich and dir and some other stuff. So, du is the subject, which means that whatever the question word is, is accusative. Ich habe Fußball gern explains to you what it is that we like. Fußball. Fußball is soccer and not a person, so we say here was. Nummer 5. Something hast du gern. It's the same sentence, but in this case we say meine Mutter in the second sentence. Ich habe meine Mutter gern. I like my mother. My mother is obviously a person, most of the time. And so we say here, wen, whom do you like? So for those of you who are George Thorogood fans, you can now correct his grammar when he says, who do you love? Well, it should be whom, Mr. Thorogood. You should probably check your grammar. Nummer 6. This one says, blank hast du in der Tasche. Now, without reading the second sentence, this says, blank, do you have in the bag? Let's assume we're never going to be putting people in a bag, because if that happens, we're going to have to have you arrested. Ich habe einen Bleistift. I have a pencil. Obviously, a pencil is a thing and not a person, 
So we say, Was? What do you have in the bag? Nummer sieben. Something hat dich gern. Who likes you? This one is who because meine Mutter is the one that likes me. So we would say here, Wer hat dich gern? As I mentioned before, du changes to dich when it's a direct object. We also know that the subject has to be either before or after the verb. Dich, being not the subject, has to mean that wer is our subject. It could have been what, like what likes you, but that would have to be the answer of my dog or something like that. Nummer acht. Something ist das. Das ist Bob. So, this one says, blank is that. That is Bob. Bob is a person again and would be very upset if we said, what is that? So we would say here, wer ist das? Who is that? Nummer neun. Something kaufst du. Kaufen is to buy. Was kaufst du? What are you buying? The answer given says, ich kaufe eine Karte. I am buying a ticket. Nummer zehn. Something sperrst du aus. Aussperren is to lock out. Ich sperre meinen Bruder aus. I am locking my brother out. My brother is a person. Even if I'm locking him out of the house, he's still a person. And so we should use here, vain, as the accusative case. Du is our subject because du is always the subject. So the other thing has to be here, the direct object. Wen sperrst du aus? Whom are you locking out? Ich sperre meinen Bruder aus. I'm locking my brother out. Nummer elf. Something spielst du. What are you playing? Ich spiele Schach. Here we have was because it's what are you playing. We generally don't play people. Nummer zwölf. Something spielt mit dir Schach. Mit dir is a prepositional phrase, which means that this has to be our subject. Mein Bruder is the thing in the next sentence, which is my brother. He's the one playing chess with me. So here we have wer, who plays chess with you. Wer spielt mit dir Schach? Mein Bruder spielt mit mir Schach. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these explanation videos, go ahead and click on that. If you want to see some Märchen or some Lieder, or if you just want to get regular updates, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions. Bye now.